street again, got me head in the game with the red light on. I'm just waiting for the change. Got me head down low. So does everyone remember Moira Deeming, uh, the Victorian member of Parliament for the Liberal Party, who uh, apparently gets blamed for absolutely everything? She's not allowed to stand up for women's rights. Um, it's her fault that neo-Nazis gate crashed a, a protest. Absolutely, you know, probably everything is her fault. Climate change, that's all her fault as well, apparently. I'm joking, joking about the climate change, but, you know, seems like she gets blamed for absolutely everything, no matter what. And what for? Why is it she gets blamed? Because because she believes that women are women and that men who put on women face are actually still men. That's what she believes. So how dare she? But uh, listen, something that I never thought I would be, I would be saying is, uh, is that I agree with someone uh, from the United Nations, the United nothing. I, I never thought I'd actually agree with something. I'll show this article here. It's from the ABC. And when you see, you know, I spoke the other week about gaslighting, the media gaslighting. You see aspects of this this article and you can see the ABC constantly just gaslighting us a little, you know, adding adding little bits and pieces that aren't just part of the truth. They, they'll add part of the truth, not a full explanation. And so they start the whole article off by painting Moy redeeming as arch enemy number one. She's a bad, she's a bad egg. But that's just the ABC. They don't like women. Uh, they don't like women. They don't like uh, white men. And they don't like anyone else who wants to think for themselves. Anyway, so this headline from the ABC. Uh, Victorian opposition leader John Pesuto. I always think of uh, prosciutto. Always makes me want to eat some ham. Uh, Pesuto shrugs off UN officials' comments in defense of more redeeming. So there she is, Moira Deeming and uh, John Pesuto, the uh, ham. So under pressure, Victorian Liberal leader. He's under pressure because he stands for nothing. The, the Liberal Party in Victoria stand for nothing. They've got no platform at all uh, because they're, they're too scared to say anything. They want to they wanna walk this weird line where they stand for nothing. Anyway, I can't get off on a tangent. Anyway, John Pesuto has swatted away criticism from a top UN official about his treatment of expelled liberal Moira Deeming, saying he was more focused on the state's budget. You know, the state's budget where Victoria, Victoria is in a world of hurt because of uh, good old Dan Andrews. Anyway, two weeks ago, Ms. Deeming was expelled from the Victorian Liberal Party's parliamentary team, ending a two-month fight over her association. Listen to this. What well, This is what I'm talking about, about... Um, the, about the gaslighting from our media. So it's a, just a little a misrepresentation of what actually happened. So ending a two-month fight over her association with March's Let Women Speak rally and then an anti-trans rights protest. Now, it wasn't an anti-trans rights protest. It was a Let Women Speak rally. It was just saying, hey, Women are women. You need to let us speak and be heard. It, but yet they always throw in this, it's an anti-trans rights protest. That's not what it was. Anyway, at State Parliament, that was gate crashed by neo-Nazis. And then this is the other thing. They always throw in there, oh, the neo-Nazis were there. Obviously, it's her fault. She's a bad egg, neo-Nazis. Every time they talk about uh, Moira, neo-Nazis gets, uh, gets put into the, the conversation as well. So in her maiden speech to Victoria's Parliament, Deeming criticised gender-affirming affirmation practices for transgender people, saying her term would focus on sex-based rights. How dare she stand up for fact and common sense? She stands up for children. Yeah, how dare she? Uh, saying women's uh, women and girls are suffering in Victoria because this government cannot or will not define what a female is. And as a result, every woman and every girl in Victoria has lost the right to enjoy female-only sports, female-only change rooms, and countless other female-only activities, Ms. Deeming said. So Reem El-Salem, he's the, uh, oh, sorry, she, 
Reem Al Salam, this week voiced concern over the shrinking space for women to express themselves peacefully in demanding respect for their needs based on their sex and or sexual orientation. She's quoted as saying, I'm disturbed by the frequent tactic of smear campaigns against women, girls and their allies on the basis of their beliefs on non-discrimination based on sex and same sex relations, Ms. Al Salam said, branding them as Nazis, uh, genocides, which is a person guilty of genocide or extremists. How often do you see that every time they reference someone, it's always the, the far right, the extremists, and yeah, you know, you know, more redeeming. Every time you hear it, see an article about her, it's always, oh, she was at this protest, anti pro anti-trans protest, neo-Nazis were at the protest, more redeeming, always associated with that. But that's not what her platform is, that's not what she's about. Anyway, going on to saying, um, so John Pasuto, who addressed this today, said he wasn't he's not concerned. He doesn't care. He wasn't concerned the United Nations had weighed in on the dispute, saying he's, I'm focused on the budget. I'm totally focused on the needs and challenges facing Victoria and the people of Victoria, especially after the most brutal budget in 30 years. Deeming said she had been in contact with Ms. Al, Al Salim. I'll sell them from the beginning of her fight with the Liberal Party's leadership. She said she felt vindicated that the UN had called out her treatment, but said it was cold comfort. At the end of the day, it doesn't overturn what I consider to be unjust treatment, Deeming told the ABC. In March, Miss Al Salim. Al Salim, sorry, uh, commented uh, on a LinkedIn post by the Women's Foreign Forum Australia, criticizing the Liberal Party's initial move to expel Miss Deeming. On what basis is Moira Deeming being punished if the rally was attacked by neo-Nazis? And th this is the big issue. This is the, the stupidity of them um, expelling her. Is It, it wasn't her fault. Just, she didn't invite these neo-Nazis to the, to the rally. She has no affiliation with them. She doesn't like them. She doesn't support them. She doesn't want neo-Nazis. And yet she is always, always associated with them merely because they attended, they gate crashed the rally and then the police couldn't do their job or didn't, didn't even try and do a job by keeping them out, keeping them away from the rally. Just allowed them to, to march on past doing their silly salutes. Anyway, so, uh, Al-Salem also criticised the Scottish government's plan to make it easier for trans people to legally change their gender last year, prompting international coalition the Sexual Rights Initiative to urge organisations to stop engaging with the UN official. Wow, we might actually have a UN official that has some common sense. This is the same thing that Queensland has done with that silly uh, Sharon Mentman you know, making it easier for Queenslanders to change their sex. You can literally just make an application. You don't have to have any kind of surgery or anything. You just decide, well, I want to be a female today and then write in and get it changed on your birth certificate. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so uh, Pesudo has previously said that he would be closely watching everything Ms. Deeming didn't said which some supporters of Ms. Deeming said was a form of intimidation. I definitely, definitely intimidation, intimidating. But for some weird reason, we live in this age where you, you're not allowed to say anything. You're not allowed to point out the facts. You're not allowed to point out the facts when it comes to trans people, okay, and, so, and this trans ideology, the LGBT rainbow ideology. You can't point at any of those facts, anything like that. But you are allowed to harass women these days. Makes no sense. If it's just a normal biological woman, politician, pseudo, can say whatever. Intimidate, harass, it's all good. Uh, in her statement published on May, 20, uh, May 22, Al Salam said she had a particular concern about the various forms of reprisals against women, including censorship, legal harassment, employment loss. Uh, in some cases, women politicians 
are sanctioned by their political parties, including through the threat of dismissal and actual dismissal. That's exactly what happened to deeming. Um, it no one's pulled up Pseudo, no one's pulled up the Liberal Party, no one's called them out on their blatant sexist behavior. But you know, the minute anyone says anything uh coherent and factual about the transgender ideology my you're well, you're attacked you're the biggest bigot on earth uh pseudo mr pseudo has repeatedly denied ever accusing deeming of being affiliated with nazis but yet he continually associates her with being with uh he continually continually associates her with Nazis because he always references the Nazis when talking about deeming and about this rally that she attended. Remember the rally that was just trying to stand up for women's rights. He said the party was still involved in internal discussions about whether it would foot his legal bills. I hope they don't. Uh, the ABC reached out to several trans advocacy groups which declined to comment. You notice the ABC, they've reached out to trans advocacy groups. They don't reach out to any uh, female advocacy groups, do they? Nope, because that's what the uh, ABC are all about. They're just about the transgender ideology standing up for the rainbow community. Look, I, I'd love to have more redeeming on and talk to have a good discussion about what's going on about what I think is the extremely sexist behavior. Uh, yeah. That the party, I, I don't know how she's, I don't know how she's stayed there as long as she has. Let me know what you think. Uh, more redeeming stands up for women's rights, stands up for common sense when it comes to the transgender ideology stands up for children and doesn't want this uh doesn't want this transgender ideology taught preached indoctrinated to our children and yet she is she is maligned for standing up for righteousness that's the way i see it that's my opinion thanks for listening to the slippery slope just fuel the desire that will take me higher I'm on fire because nothing's gonna bring me down Nothing's gonna bring me down Nothing's gonna stop me now No more deals to be done And nothing was gonna just focus on me Nothing's gonna stop me Got my eye on the prize, got my eye on the prize